Okay, every time I press the record button, it like shifted and went somewhere else, and I don't know what happened. But hey, guys, welcome to another exciting episode of Rough Raw and Uncut, a behind the scene look of my life in general as a person living in this world alone. Ah. Anyway, guys, so, um, yeah, this whole daily thing, I'm working on it, okay? I am working on it. I'm gonna try to make daily videos, but. It's hard after you take a long break away from something to just go right back into it. Like, um, if you follow me on Instagram, um, my photography Instagram, I haven't really posted a lot on there either because I don't like to make such subjective photography, which is, you know, basic shit, which is like, oh yeah, just like, here's a picture of my body like, against the wall. Ah, uh, here's a picture of my body and my butt. And just like, <laughs> follow and like, ah, uh, here's a picture of my underwear. Oh my God, it's so different and unique. Like... I like to actually have things with a certain aesthetic, have things planned out, have things distorted a little bit. So like, it takes me a while to actually make a photo. Um, so that's why I don't really post that on there that much anymore. And I'm gonna try, cause I'm writing um, a couple of ideas for a new series that I wanna do. Um, ooh, low power, cool. Um, and also same thing with my videos. Like um, I'm getting back and making videos. I actually just wrote a bunch of ideas on things I wanna record. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, it's new sketches, and also, if you guys have any ideas on, like, if you want me to just do, like, sit-down-talk videos, <clears throat> like I've done in the past, or, and, uh, I'd make little scenarios out of that, little sketches, let's, let me know down below, and, yeah, just feel free to give ideas whenever you want, but, uh, I'm dying. Ah! But, yeah, uh, one of the things that started with me is I started to actually go to a therapist. Yeah, it finally happened. Um, about, I had two sessions, and this week's going to be my third, and I'm excited for it. It's actually just nice to have someone to actually sit down and talk to about things going on, things that you don't really open up about, and just, you feel like you're in a safe space where you can actually just release that. Because I'm someone that I, as much as I talk to a camera and talk about my issues, I don't really get into detail about a lot of stuff. I'm not really open with you guys with a lot of things that are going on with me. I never really talk about, like, things that constantly bother me. Like, if you guys know, I have chronic depression, so I have de um, episodes of depression every now and then. Um, I have been suicidal at points, like, in the past. And these are things that, like, all are triggered by certain things, like, I don't really talk about. So it's nice to actually have an environment where I can actually, you know, express myself. And I feel like everyone should. Everyone should just not have to feel like they have to bottle everything inside of themselves and actually let it out and actually have someone that they can talk to. But also it's good to not, like, if you're like, you know, it's good for like a friend and everything if you want to vent to them, but don't always vent to your friend about your issues and your shit, okay? Just, it gets tiring, it gets annoying, because I know I have people who do that to me, because I'm basically like a journal. I'm an open book. I, um, I'm always there to support people, which is a big problem with me, like, I do, I'm very supportive, I'm very, very supportive, in fact, to the point where I put others before myself all the time, which is kind of why I'm messed up the way I am, but, um, yeah, it's good to, like, vent out to people from time to time, but pace it out, actually realize that, no, they're people too, take their interests into account, actually ask about them, and, you know, see if you can support them as well too, and not just, like, shower all your shit just on them just like you know you see them and you have to let them know everything going on in your life because they got issues too everybody has issues every everybody has things to do with and things aren't just about you and your problems and if you have friends who do that to you or like they just constantly vent to you and they, they don't even bother and asking anything about yourself or like actually you know you feel like they don't really support you evenly then you gotta cut that shit out because any relationship uh, including a friendship, is all about support and all is about compromise. And you guys have to learn to balance. Like, one can't just be supporting the other. Like, you always have to have an equal amount of support, no matter what, no matter which way. Like, you can depend on them the same amount that they can depend on you, and you're not gonna try to burden them with your issues, and they're not gonna burden you with theirs either. But you guys can come to each other when you guys are in need. Which is really important, and a lot of people t tend to neglect that. Um, yeah, so other than that, nothing really new is going on in my life, so that's why I don't really record either, because it's not like I'm going on, like, adventures and doing things. Um, I am trying to make a trip to Provincetown, um, the end of the month with a friend, but, uh, I'm waiting on them to get back to me so I can take the vacation day, so, um, waiting on that! Um, other than that, that's about it, and there's been a lot of things that I want to, like, talk about on, like, my YouTube videos and stuff, because, like, I'm very opinionated on like a lot of things things i'm really passionate about and like two things i'm really passionate about is like um movies 
and video games and sometimes I think just like you know what if I did another channel which pff, yeah okay um, where I just like talk about those things because I would love to like I love to critique and review and actually like get in depth about movies because I was a film major and the reason why I was a film major is because I'm passionate about films I'm passionate about story I'm passionate about like production I'm passionate about like why these things are made why these thing things happen and same thing with video games like I love um you know, criticizing a story. I love um, the gameplay elements in certain uh, games, but, you know, I never have time to play them because <laughs> I'm always working. But those are things I'm really passionate about. Also, comic books as well, too. Like, these are things I'm passionate about. And, I don't know, sometimes I think, like, it's nice to have, like, an open forum where I can talk about these things and can talk about it with other people to have opinions. Uh, but I guess that's what Reddit's for, so I'll probably just join with that. Um... Yeah, and then my main channel, it's pretty much going to be the same stuff as before. I'm still making sketches. I'm still making sit-down videos. I am still want to hear more opinions from you guys. Um, and that's about it. I really have nothing else to really say today. Look at these titties. They're happy to see you. Hey. <laughs> anyway, guys, I just want to give you a quick update on my life. Uh, I'm going to try to record these videos more. Uh, maybe have something else going on <laughs> that's actually interesting. Um, yeah, but if you guys just like this, where I just, like, I sit down and talk to you guys, um, then feel free to leave comments on just, like, you know, questions you have, or th questions you have for me, or just in general that you want me to talk about, because, like, these videos I don't mind just, like, sitting down and talking to you guys. Um, if you guys want me to do, like, a big sit-down video, like, uh, it's, like, an open topic, um, kind of deal, I'll bring those more towards my main channel, uh, depending on what the topic is, and then I'll do a whole video about that. Um, but yeah, just let me know down below. And I guess that's it. So I'm gonna go at the fart. And I'll see you guys later. Stay awesome. Mm -hmm. Bye. Fuck. I can never fuck.